morphology in action let's look at some facts that how morphology actually works in action how words are coined these are examples of morphology in action morphological facts of everyday life in everyday life we have we come across words which are newly coined which are different from the words that used to be used in the past right novel words and word plays they are all around us around each of us for example rebop this was the word that was used back in 1920s and was uh, used for jazz music and there were stores musical store for this uh, for this type of music right if we look at the verb it seems that re has uh, re is a prefix and bob is the a verb because we ja know that generally uh, a prefix re comes as a pre prefix and it is attached to a verb but if we look at the its meaning it has na little uh, with understanding a certain concept if we take bob bob means to bounce it is an uh, 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 accomplished uh, action so rebob makes little sense but in your general uh, general interaction of words you will come across a lot of words which actually do not make much sense but even then they are used or with the passage of time they started having a certain meaning in in a language consider now the following uh, phrases excuse me taken from tony braxton's song and break my heart and cry these tears again you have come across a lot of time the word break and you have used a lot of time the word cry but and break how can this process of breaking be reversed or crying be reversed it is not possible but anyone who listens to this piece of a uh, song this piece of music does has a feeling of sadness poignancy when he or she listens to this uh, type of music and such a uh, novel usage of a uh, word is uh, or is found in most of the languages in which music is made the words have a, are used in a very different meaning uh, than they actually uh, are used normally all human beings have this capacity for generating and understanding novel words but even then we understand what does unbreak and uncry mean so it means that we are always ready for understanding for getting new uh, words used in novel ways sometime someone creates an entirely new word it happens for example J R R Tolkien used the word hobbit for a for a creature of small size with hairy feet, right? So when this word was coined, now there are certain other morphemes, there are certain other pieces of language which can be added to this hobbit to make it hobbitish, to make it hobbit-like. So, but. more often than not we build new words from pre existing pieces as with unbreak and uncry or as with hobbitish and hobbit like build by adding suffixes to the stem hobbit so we could easily go on to create more words on these patterns so in every language people keep on creating new words with the help of the words available to them it is a novel thing but this adds to creativity of the language so people in every language keep on creating new words so novel words are all around us so we take up any literature of a language we take up a uh, original data of a language we'll find that in every every language novel words are there people are coining new terms new words 
for their purpose to fulfill their uh, purposes so new words are always there in every language and people keep on coining new words